Good morning, everyone. It's one of those days. It's like almost 11 o'clock right now. It's one of those days where I know I'm going to do a vlog, but I pull out my camera and I'm just like, how am I going to start this? What are we going to do? It's just kind of a mundane, normal day around here. Oh, but look, look at my balloons up there. 30. I turned 30 this past week, 30 years old, but a bunch of my friends and family um, had a surprise birthday party for me, which was a lot of fun. And so those are my leftover balloons. I don't know how long they'll be up there because those balloons can sometimes last forever. So 30, crazy. I honestly can't believe it. The number 30 has kind of scared me thinking of turning 30. On one hand, it's like, I can't believe I'm that age. On the other hand, I feel like being married and having four kids. <laughs> and it's like, Duh, I should be about 30 by now. Okay, there's nothing like doing vlogs, realizing all the imperfections of my house. I just watched my last clip and all I could look at was the blinds. Like, look how dusty those are. What in the world? Gotta add that to my list of to-dos. What are you doing? Are you watching a screensaver? Are those pictures? Little Elijah, oh my goodness. Look at mama. Hey, say no. <laughs> Messy. No. Messy. She's like, no, I just wanna watch this. Okay, so that's another thing that's happened this past week that's been so exciting. I'll try to make this a long story short, but um, we, okay, about a year and a half ago, our computer was like totally full of pictures, full of old stuff, and we needed extra space on it. So we moved all of our pictures onto an external hard drive. Well, I think they're already on the external hard drive, but we deleted them off of the computer so that we could have more space. All of them were backed up and everything. Then all of a sudden the external hard drive was having problems and we would plug it into our computer, but it wouldn't show that there was anything on it. So we ended up buying a new computer last Christmas. It was actually like the 23rd of December when we got it to the um, shop to get all of our stuff moved from our old computer onto the new computer. So it was the 23rd when we got the computer back and the guy said, okay, I transferred all the data. We opened up the new computer and all of our pictures were not there. And so I called the guy and was like, you didn't get all the stuff off of the external hard drive. Like we have years worth of pictures on there. And he's like, no, I got everything that's on there. Nothing else is on there. And so just over Christmas, I kept thinking about it and try not to think about it, but thinking like there's a good possibility that all of our pictures from the time pretty much from when I was a teenager and started taking my own pictures up until right before Zara was born are gone. Like we had no pictures other than like all the pictures from when Zara was born, those were on our, like those weren't on the external hard drive. We had those on our computer. So everything from 2015 and on we had, but anything before that was gone. And so we knew there was a chance, like maybe we can go see a like restoration specialist or whatever and get those pictures back. But I think we were just nervous and so we kept delaying. For one thing, we knew it would be expensive to try to get one of these um, data recovery people to do it. And we thought, it was just kind of like, oh, what if, there's, what if they're not there? You're just kind of delaying the inevitable, I guess. And so I kept saying like, we need to get that checked out. We need to get that checked out. And anyway, for my birthday, my husband was like, okay, we're gonna do it. So he brought in the external hard drive to a data recovery specialist and he was able to get all the pictures back. Yes, it cost a lot of money, but totally worth it. And so the kids have just been loving, loving looking at old pictures from when Elijah was little and Charity was little and Simeon was little. And I've just been oh, feeling so happy that we have these pictures back. Wow. Do you think mommy should do your hair? No. Really? No. She's been saying no. this all morning. No, no, no. no. But you can hardly see. Is your hair pretty? It's pretty. It's dark. Pretty. Pretty dog? Let me see. Oh, I think it's a kitty cat. It's a kitty cat. These guys are up here playing with Lego. Can you show me what you're building, Elijah? Mom, can you get my Lego? Just a minute. What is it? I can make them like, walk up here. Oh, then I pull these cool. off. Yeah. Pull these off. There's someone standing here. Look at all this Lego. And Simeon. if they're still standing here, they can fall off now. <laughs> oh, Simeon, what are you building? 
Well, 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 he just, he's just trying to pick up there. I can't even see you. Should we do your hair too? Yeah. I'm, yeah, <laughs> what? I'm what if my girls just wanted their hair in their faces today? But Charity, what is it that you're making? It's a house. Very nice. Right now, our kids are so into Lego. Okay, I'm washing my bedding right now, so my bed is a big mess. But right now, they're so into Lego. What we do when our kids leave Lego, like laying around, if we've told them to clean up, and they just leave like little pieces, you know how Lego is. It's just laying here and there. Um, we collect their Lego into a tin that's on a shelf in our room. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I just like ran up the stairs, two flights down, two flights back up. Um, <clears throat> but we collect it in a tin and then after a couple months we take it out and give it back to them. So we've been collecting probably now September, October, November 1st, we got out all their Lego that they had left laying around and give it back to them and now it's like new toys! The kids are so into it, like it's brand new Lego. So win-win! <laughs> this little girl just fell and had a little bonk and now she just wants to be with mama, right? She's like, lay down. What should we say to everybody? A says ah. A says ah, that's right. That's one of her new things. Is every time I do schoolwork with Elijah, or sorry, with Simeon, and teach him his letters, I give him like the flashcards and show him A says ah, and we go through the whole alphabet. So now she always says my a. turn, and then she says A says ah. What does a doggy say? Woof woof, that's right, no ah ah. <laughs> what does a cow say? It says meow. What does a horse say? Ah ah. <laughs> What's with all the monkey sounds? A horse says nay. <laughs> what does a monkey say? Ah ah. Good job. And can you tell mommy what color your shirt is? Purple. You're right. That's her favorite color. She calls a lot of colors purple, but she's always right calling purple purple. Purple. That's right. Purple, green, yellow. This little girl is going to be two in just a few days. How old are you? Can you say two? Two. We're going to have to practice that so you can get used to saying two. You're two. All right, we are just at Once Upon a Child. What are we looking for? Boots for me. Yeah, he finally outgrew his winter boots that he's been wearing, I think, for the past two years. And but we're gonna take a look tights. today. And Charity needs tights. So we're gonna check out Once Upon a Child. It's all of a sudden gotten a lot colder here. So I don't quite know. I think a lot of the stuff that we want might be already bought or have slim pickings, but we're gonna find out. Are you the queen of silly faces? What else are we gonna get? We'll find out. Let's just go in and see. It says five boots. Um, all right. There's a few. Let's look at what sizes they are. Okay, what do you think? Let's Feel see. Good. Let's see. The trick is it says size one on it. Let's see how much they are. Eight fifty. That's pretty good. But then when I look at the boot, I'm like, those are not a size one, and they look like they're a size. It says size ten on the inside, and that's what your feet are. Okay, do a little walk around and see what you think okay. of them. What do you think? Yeah, I'm good. Alright, no tights, but I found a mitten dryer, so we're gonna get that. And it's hard to leave when the kids are busy reading. <laughs> Guess what we just bought? Eggnog! First of the season! Yay! Tonight is a quick and easy supper of pancakes, so I'm gonna get started on that now, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!